Hello everyone, welcome back, Crown Geek here. Now clearing the cache in Windows 11 is essential for maintaining the system performance and freezing up valuable storage space. Cache data such as temporary file, browser cache and system caches can accumulate over time slowing down your computer. So in this video guys, I will be showing you that how you can perfectly clear all the cache and junk from your Windows 11 or Windows 10, very simple and very easy. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So first we will start with clearing all the Windows 11 default cache. And in order to do that, right click on the Windows icon, click on settings. From the left in menu option, click on system. Then scroll down a bit and you will find the storage option. Click on storage. Now this will be calculating all the space occupied by different categories like installed application, videos, temporary file. So you have to wait until the calculation is being completed. And you have to start with the temporary file here. So click on temporary file. Again, it will display all kind of categories that what kind of temporary files are occupying the space. So on my end, you can see the temporary file is around 14.6 gigabyte. The download is around 13.9 gigabyte. And it will depend on you that you want to clean the download or not. I don't want to delete it because I have some data inside it. So I will uncheck it. Then I will check the recycle bin and all the other categories here that contain many kind of junk and all kind of cache. Once you have selected, now you can see that it says 21.2 gigabyte of space will be cleared. So click on remove file. Click on continue. And once it get done, it says finish temporary file cleanup. Now you can go back. And then you can click on other categories here like installed application. And look for the application here that you are not using or you really use it. Go ahead and click on the three dot and choose uninstall in case if you're not using any of the application over here. All right. So once you are done with this, now next we have to clear the location cache as well, which is very important to clear. And for that in the settings only from the left in menu option, click on privacy and security. Then scroll down a bit and you will find the location here. Click on location. Again, you scroll down a bit and you'll find the location history and it says when device location is on, your location is stored and available for a limited time on the device. So very important to clear it. And on the very right of it, you will find the clear option. Click on clear. And that's it. It's all been done. Now next, we have to also clear the Microsoft store cache. And it's very simple. Click on your Windows search and just type WS reset. WS reset and click on WS reset run command and it will automatically bring up a command prompt and then it will bring up the Microsoft store by clearing all the caches of the Microsoft store. So we are also done with this. Close it. Now next we also need to clear the browser cache so that we can get the better performance while browsing. So bring up your favorite browser whichever you use like I use Google Chrome. Then click on the three dot at the right in top. Click on settings. In the setting from the left hand side, you have to click on privacy and security. Then you will find delete browsing data. And here from the basic choose to advanced time range select to all time. Now it will display all kinds of categories, browsing history, download history, cookies and other side data, cache, images and file, password and autofill form data. I would recommend you to keep this unchecked so that you should not lose your saved data and your saved autofill form data. The rest, you can check all these options here and click on delete data. Now, depending how much data you have to be cleared, it may take some time. So you will have to wait until it's all been done. And now finally, we have to delete the temporary file manually from our device. So make a right click on the Windows icon, click on run. Type here percent temp percent and click on OK. You will find multiple file here. Select them all by using the control A key from your keyboard. Then press the shift and delete key and click on yes. Check the box, click on continue. Click on try again. And you can see that it's deleting all the temporary file from your device that include all kind of junk and many kind of caches. Once it's been done, check the box, click on skip. And once done, again, make a right click on the windows icon, click on run and only type temp temp, click on OK. Again, press Ctrl A from the keyboard to select them all. Then press Shift and Delete key to permanently delete all these items. Click on Yes. Check the box. Click on Continue. Check the box. Click on Skip. Again, check the box. Click on Skip. And that's it. 
Now we are only remaining with the final step where we also need to clear the DNS cache. And for that, you have to click on a window search, type CMD, right click on the command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. And here type a simple command that will be IP config space forward slash flush DNS. And it says successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. All right, so we are finally completed by clearing all the cache and junk from our Windows 11 or Windows 10. And after doing this, I would recommend you to go ahead and restart the computer and you will find the difference on your device. So hopefully guys, you found the information useful, easy to operate, and this will be surely helping and boosting your device. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, and I see you on the next video. Bye-bye.